If you would have told me two weeks ago that I would have ever looked at a Harbor Freight winch as a serious option, I would have laughed at you. I was in the car industry when I had a wrecking yard and the Harbor Freight winches were ubiquitous on car haulers because they were cheap. You know, you could get them for under a couple hundred bucks, but to actually seriously consider one for a four wheel drive, well, that was not really an option. When I did the bumper video, uh, trying to, when we're trying to pick out what bumper to get for the new Super Duty, uh, the Harbor Freight guys called and said, hey, we actually have a winch that's good. And, uh, uh, you know, when he was talking to me on the phone, I was like, yeah, what's your impression of good? Because I know winches. I worked at Warren. I actually built winches there for several years. And I, know, I know all about them. You know, I've, I've grow, grown up with them. I've had them on every rig that I've owned. I've never had anything that wasn't a Warren. He said, let me send you one. Let me send you one. Take a look at it and you be the judge of it. I'll just leave it at that. And so that's what we're gonna do today. I didn't realize that they were making, good grief, how many tapes are we gonna get on here? I didn't realize that they were starting to make some high end, some nicer tools. I mean, I remember when Harbor Freight first came on the scene. Uh, I remember the first time I went to their store cause you went in there and it was shockingly ch cheap, right? It was shockingly cheap. But the downside with a lot of that stuff was what good is a tool that's really cheap if it's of just such poor quality that it's just not usable. So for me, the only thing I really have used for, uh, from Harbor Freight are specialty things. Like if I need a spring compressor or just something that I'm gonna use maybe one time and I can't justify buying Snap-on or something like that, then you know I'll go that route. But uh, I would not have considered a winch. But so I went online and I went to compare, this is actually a direct competitor with the Warren, is it the Xenon, I think, the 12,000? That's the exact winch that I kind of had my eye on that I was gonna put on the truck, on the new bumper. And this is almost a carbon copy of that. So let's take a look at it. I'm gonna run some comparisons that I found online on the Warren site, and we'll see how this stacks up the fit and finish. And is this a viable option? Because if it is, that's really tempting because it's one third the cost of a Xenon. I think a Xenon is close to $1,800, brand new, and these come in under 600, five, five something, if I remember right. Let's take a look at it and, uh, and see how it stacks up to the Warren. First off, the packaging is really nice. Oh, this is not a paid endorsement. Our deal was they sent it and said, take a look at it. If you like it, use it. If not, don't, do what you will with it. No talking points, no nothing. So. I know that upsets a lot of people, but let me ask you this. If they offered to, you to send you a new Badlands winch, would you say yes? Of course you would, so sit down and shut up. All right, so first off, this is the fair lead. This is very nice. This looks like a forged or cast fair lead. Now you can't use a roller fair lead when you use synthetic line, and this is equipped with synthetic line, but I'm not a big fan of that branding. Um, it's okay, I mean, it's, a, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's not, uh, let me think, I'd have maybe chose, chose something that's a little nondescript. Give customers an option uh, whether or not they want to promote something like that. It's just my opinion, my particular pet peeve. Forged hook. You don't get a forged hook with a worn Xenon. Uh, that is an aftermarket that you have to buy. These are really, really strong. That is a good looking hook for 3 8 cable. That's a high quality item right there. That's really nice. Good finish. Good looking hook. That look, looks nice off of the, the front of your let winch. And of course we got these guys here, which are really popular. Kind of hang down there and look cool. So far so good. Now this is wireless. We'll have to see how that's gonna work when we get it hooked up. Uh, the wireless, I've never had a wireless winch before. It sounds nice and convenient, but my one concern I do have is that the re reliability of that it's hard to beat just an old school wire, you know, when, when they go bad. Um, just as far as my impressions of this, looks like it's got a magnet on it. That's kind of cool. So you could stick it, yeah, you could stick it on. It seems to be strong enough. You could stick it on, it could be a little stronger, but it seems to be adequate. Stick it on the side of your body or whatever so you don't lose it, it doesn't fall on the ground. Um, forward, reverse, in and out, fit and finish of it, it's okay. Oh, there is a wire. I don't know if that's for charging or what that is. Here's the cable. So that's good. That's the best of both worlds. If that's smart if they did that. I, I'd like to have uh, a wired option uh, as well in case I just don't have, I have an issue with the connectability. Cable right there. Not premium vinyl, 
but they're decent. It's decent. Remember, we've got to remember, you know, it's the third the cost of a Warren. So they've got to, you know, you're not, you, can't, you can't have everything, right? Looks like we have a mounting plate here of some sort. I don't know what that's for. And then the winch itself and all the cabling. So it's ready to go. All you got to do is hook it up to your battery. What do we have going on here? I don't know what that is. I'll have to look into that. All right, let's pull it out. Oh, here's some more wires. So what size wires did they give us? Looks like pretty decent cable. So this looks like what? Maybe a number, a number four or number, what size is that? No, maybe it gets bigger than that. Maybe a two. It's probably a two or something there. All right, let me, let me yank this out. Oh, we got more stuff in here. Uh, more cables, mounting hardware. What's in this box? Oh, a disconnect. That's a nice bonus. That's a really nice bonus, actually. So there's a hard disconnect, like you find in a marine application or a boat, uh, so that you can turn it off um, so that you don't have any phantom draw or just so no one could use it. That is nice. That's, a, that's, that's actually a nice feature there. I wouldn't even have thought to put one of those on that. I've never had one on a winch before, but uh, I will now. Battery switch. And then finally, we've got our hardware here, uh, some brass connectors and boots, and looks like good, decent bolts too. And these are even stainless steel, these cap bolts here. So that's a hit right there. That's nice, very nice. Okay, now for the winch, let's pull it out here. Let's talk first impressions. We'll do all four sides here. The build of this winch, it's very clean and very nice. It feels like a quality item. This is all, all metal, metal solenoid cover. Well, there's hardly any plastic on it. I don't even, is that metal too? I don't even know if I, that might be plastic at cover there. I don't really see any plastic on it. Man, it's nice. What a bonus to come with synthetic line. Um, this is great. There's even sheathing, protective sheathing on the first few feet of it. That, you know, this, the downside with the synthetic line, there's hardly any downside, but is that it is not as durable as wire rope, but it's so much safer and it's so much better to handle. I mean, you really can't compare the two, but it is a little bit fragile. So that, that's a nice touch, that sheathing on there. Uh, I have not had a winch with this before. I've used this in come-alongs, but not on a particular winch. Our bottom, bottom feet are going to mount just like a worn. Now on the Warrens, and I only assume that the Badland is similar, that they, I don't know, I'll have to check into this, can you mount them feet forward or feet down? Either way, I don't know why you couldn't. But 80 feet of 3 eighths three inch uh, synthetic line on there uh, is nice. That's perfect. But a very handsome, a good looking winch. It really reminds me a lot of a, of a Xenon. Over here on the side, pull this here back for you. We have, uh, this is our, our gear side here where the planetaries are in there. This is our clutch for freewheel, a big robust handle with good detents in it. It feels really good and clearly labeled, free spool and engage. This is a big hit for me. I was concerned about that wireless, but there's a big heavy rubber cover on here that exposes an override for that wireless. So it says here, uh, turn wireless switch to off after winching. So you can override and plug your controller, I'm assuming. It's a five pin right in here with arrows that line up there. That's nice. That's, that makes me really happy. That's a huge win for me because I don't trust that wireless stuff, to be honest. I'll use, I'd use it. it would be if it was just because it's convenient. But this is a really nice, big, heavy-duty waterproof plug. Uh, on the site, this actually, I wrote down these numbers for you because I wasn't really familiar with this IPX rating. Uh, so I checked it. So the IPX rating on the Warren is uh, IPS, IPX8. And what that means is it's basically waterproof uh, that you can kind of um, submerge it down to a couple feet or so. This 
is IPX9K, which I had to look that up, but that's, that's a much higher standard than the Warren. This is pressure washer safe, and not only pressure washer, but hot water, like for a hot sea. So 80 Celsius, I think is what it said on the site. So this has got a, a higher, a quite a bit higher waterproof rating and dust rating uh, than the Warren's gonna have. It's better sealed. Uh, I don't know how they did, exactly how they went about doing that, but very nice unit. Again, all good decals, that's all metal. Unlike a lot of the Harbor Freight stuff, you know, their castings and such have been pretty crude, um, but uh, this one is better. Decals are they're okay. It'd probably come off, but I'd probably take that off anyway. On the back end here, we have our main lead here to the, uh, the solenoids will be up in here. That's when you hear that click, click, that clicking. That's what, uh, what uh, activates those. So you can have short runs that go to the cable. But this is a nice touch. They've got it in sheathing so that you're gonna probably run this through a grill or through a bumper and you've got wear protection on there, just an extra step a guy doesn't have to do, which I appreciate that. They've even shrink wrapped it here and zip tied it. Here's your chassis ground. Um, pretty nice, pretty nice. This is not what I would typically expect from Harbor Freight at all. Can we get in there? That's just probably more of a dust cover than anything else. Here's our ground for our motor. Our motor will be over on this side. Now this is series wound, just like a Warren. And the reason why seri a series wound motor is really good for winching because what it does is it gives you instant torque right away. It doesn't take it a long time to spool up. So if you need massive power with low RPMs, series wound is th the way to go. So it's just a copy, like probably a similar style as the, uh, as the Warren. Now this is not a waterproof casing here this is probably just for looks because you can see the motors inside there these motors are basically just big just kind of big starter motors is what uh, what they used to use at Warren when I worked there they used to source their motors I think from Brazil here on this side we just have their logo also in probably looks like aluminum uh, that nice castings nice good quality stickers and very nice components the hardware looks nice this is all welded uh, the hook is excellent. That's really sharp. The fair lead is really pretty. It's got a nice finish on it. This is a nice, nice unit. Just immaculately finished. You know, you can't get this from machine. You gotta, there's gotta be, you have to have human hands to get finishes like this and someone's cared about this. And this is important too, because that's the, that's basically the face of the winch. That's what you see. You're gonna see this right here on the front. And you don't want, want it to look all shabby and, and rusty. Hardware is nice, uh, galvanized and stainless steel. Uh, boots, just like Warren used to, do, used to put in there to cover your electrical connections. Um, solid brass connectors. Um, you see, I mean, it's even got your butt connectors in there. Looks like in case you needed to extend that chassis ground. This is thoughtful. Not the nicest disconnect. It's not like a, a perco, um, but it it is brass and solid copper. You can see in there, so it's not it's not at all garbage by any means. One thing you some, sometimes you what you see with the overseas stuff is just the plastic, the choices of plastic. But this is yeah. The more I look at it, the better it actually looks. That's not bad. That's a, that's that is a nice bonus though. I, I do like that. I don't have any idea what this thing is. I don't know. I don't know what that is. And then this looks like a mounting plate of some sort, of which I'm not sure is that for the what that is either. But it's not important. We can get into that when we look at it. Good cables, heavy cables, properly made, lots of cable, enough to go everywhere. The I yeah, I think you know just <clears throat> from a consumer standpoint I'd pay an extra 50 bucks uh, for something like this to have. Uh, to this, po this portion here is really important, important to me, and it has to be really, really tough. Uh, and it's what I grab, and it kind of reminds me of, of, the, of the experience and the quality of it when I grab this, because this is my interface with the winch. Yeah, you know, I don't know. It's okay. I just, I'm just not a fan of that vinyl 
uh, cable, but I know this is not, pri it's primarily made to use without that. So I I'm splitting hairs here, but the switch is, it's okay. It feels pretty good actually. Press mode three seconds and turn wireless on and off. So there must be some sort of Bluetooth connectability here. I don't assume that this piece is waterproof. Maybe you're supposed to keep that cup that I tore off and threw on the floor. Yeah, I think so. Don't throw this out like I did. You're gonna need that because I can see exposed circuit boards in there. And <clears throat> from having these remotes, I mean, when you're really in the weeds and you're in the middle of the night and you're winching out in the snow, these controllers need to be tough. They take a lot of abuse. So, you know, this, the problem with this here is that it's gonna get lost. You know, the Warren controllers are gonna be waterproof. So just, I don't think this is a deal breaker at all, but don't overlook, as a manufacturer, don't overlook this sort of thing because I don't care how good the winch is and how nice the fair lead is and how good the gears and the clutch system are. If this fails or if this breaks and it doesn't work, then you're really in trouble. Unless, can you override it over here? Wireless. I don't know. That, that, now that would be slick. I've, I've had problems with these before, even with the Warns. If you could, maybe in a future iteration, make this so you had a, you could actually control the wedge here uh, apart from this, if you lost it or ran over it or broke it, that would be a super, super nice feature. But I don't know. We'll, we'll look into that when we get into the install. So uh, let's wrap up with my uh, final thoughts here. I just checked on both websites and here currently, so this list for $5.99, and the Warren Xenon list for $17.80. They're very similar. They, they have, I mean, obviously this was inspired by the Xenon winch. They even have the same cone braking system, uh, which is really nice. So um, my initial impressions on this is that this feels like a quality item that is really well put together, and it's a handsome winch, a very nice package, 12,000 pounds, and the price is, I mean, that's, that's a good price for a 12,000 pound wench. I know, you know, I know a lot of guys are have issues with buying stuff overseas and I get that, you know, I, I, I understand that 100%. And it's one thing if, you know, a lot of cases I'm willing to pay double uh, for, you know, I know Mrs. W said, you know, I'm willing to pay double sometimes for organic food for my family, but I'm not gonna pay triple. <laughs> so when you're talking 1800 versus 600, you know, that's a pretty, pretty wide gulf. And if, you, if it comes down to, I mean, this is achievable, attainable by a lot more guys. You can scrape up 600 bucks a whole lot easier than you can scrape up a couple grand. Because by the time you add a forged hook, you know, you're going to want to look cool on the front, you know, and have that in an accessory or so. And, and the Warren doesn't offer the wireless either. Um, if that's important to you. By the time you do that, you know, now you're looking at a third the cost uh, of a Warren, which it is an awesome product. I'm not running it down whatsoever. I used to build them, I understand. I, I owned, I've owned six of them. Um, but this is a very, very nice item, um, just from initial impressions, so. Well done. So <clears throat> I was excited to hear from the Far Harbor Freight folks and I, they were telling me, uh, the guy I spoke with on the phone was really a nice guy. He actually was kind of new there. He came over from Four Wheel Parts, Four Wheel Wholesale, Four Wheel Parts Wholesale, the Four Wheel Drive Shop and said that um, you know, he's kind of been involved with this and they want to start producing some nicer things. So what I offered to them is I would love to work with Harbor Freight. You know, I, what I'd like to do in the future is I'd like to get, so we don't have, we have to run ads on the videos anymore, that we can have a, a handful of key sponsors uh, that we could run 60 or 90 second mid-roll ads in the, in the middle of the video and not have to deal with all those deals or all those advertisements breaking up the stories and all that. So I told them I would love to work with Harbor Freight and if we could, if they're going to produce high quality items, I'm not interested in the, in, in the other stuff. I don't want interested in that low quality stuff. But if they're going to be making nice items like this, I would love to do some comparisons. You know, if they're going to make a good floor jack, let's see how it stacks up against the snap-on. Uh, and if a guy can consistently buy it for less than half, then um, you know, that's, a, that's a good option. It's hard to justify paying $1,800 for a winch. I, I, would take a, I would take a hard look at this, uh, but we'll see when we test it. But uh, that'll, I'll look forward to that. Anyway, enough of my rambling. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the guys at Harbor Freight for sending this out so we could take a look at it. I appreciate that. And um, 
and hopefully we can get to do some more with those guys in the future. So thanks for watching. May God bless you and your families. Please keep us in your prayers, and we'll see you all on the next video.